vlogmas day 10. It is one o'clock and we are having a soggy Sunday here in Pennsylvania. It is raining and about 45 degrees. So it's just yucky for lack of a better word. I have been getting some housework done this morning, laundry and dishes and all of that fun stuff. Um, and I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing it, but I'm still plugging away on the body of my test knit sweater. This is what I have left of the current skein I'm working on. Uh, Lillian did help me measure last night. I did a quick try on once I finished the collar and I have eight inches total to knit until the sweater is as long as I want the body to be. But I only have five and a half inches that I need to knit before I start the ribbing. Um, let's see if I can show you this. So here is the marker and That's what I have knit so far. Um, probably about two inches. So again, I know, I know you guys are tired of seeing this. <laughs> it's the Vlogmas sweater. <laughs> um, but the nice thing is, is tomorrow I will be casting on a new project. I have participated in Mad Cow Mandy's swap this year. And I will be doing a pair of socks in tandem for the 12 days of Christmas swap with my partner. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. I have everything upstairs ready to go. Tomorrow morning, I will be casting on the toes of the sock. I've decided I'm going to knit them toe up. Um, but I am, I'm looking forward to starting those tomorrow. Um, and for now, really, I'm just working on this sweater. Like I said, I probably have three grams to go. And then I'm going to work on something else for a little while just to give my hands a break <laughs> from a, a heavier weight yarn and probably work on finishing the heel turn of my woolen and nosh sock. I've been working on that, but I've also been trying not to show it here just because I'm working ahead and not really sticking with the one stripe a day at all. <laughs> I am just about done my first sock. So I've seen just about all of the colors and, um, if I do share it later, I'll make sure I do so in black and white, just not to ruin any spoilers for anybody. Um, but Justin is done work for the day and on his way home with lunch for us. And it kind of sounds alarming to him. Um, but I asked him to stop and get McDonald's because I've been craving some McDonald's french fries. So he is stopping and picking up McDonald's for us. Um, fast food isn't something I eat very, very often. Uh, it's just not, um, it isn't, it's, it's not something I eat very often. So when I, I mentioned french fries like three times yesterday, uh, he texted me before he left work and offered to pick up some McDonald's for us. So I am very excited for him to bring me home some french fries. <laughs> and um, Lily is supposed to be working on some homework and she knows that once she gets her assignments done, we have a craft we're going to work on this afternoon. And I'm looking forward to it almost as much as she is. Uh, but it was something I had seen on Instagram, someone shared it on a reel and I thought it looked like fun and we're going to do that this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hop upstairs for just a second and open my advent calendar and show you guys what today's color is. All right, here we go with day 10. Ooh. There we go. So I have to be honest, I've not really had the urge to like tear through this advent. 
uh, the way I have others in years past, but I really want to open up the last one and see what color pink or red we end up at. Um, I'm just really curious. This is, let's see. So here's, here's where we started for day one. And here's where we're at on day 10. So I'm, and here's Dale. <laughs> so I'm really curious to see where we're going to go in 14 more days. I'm, I'm curious. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm? What are you doing in here? Of weeks ago I was on scrolling through Instagram and I saw a neat craft so Lillian and I are going to give that a shot today um, in short I'll link the full tutorial for this below because this is not my idea I found it from someone else on Instagram but we bought wooden ornaments at Michael's and we are going to go ahead and kind of I don't want to say hydro dip because it's not but we're going to dip them so I'm starting out by putting the little handle on the back Lily is laying out all of her paints and we are going to make these for ornaments for the Christmas tree but also gift tags for friends and just have a little fun on this very rainy, very dreary Sunday afternoon. pocket friends time to chime in on a debate that we have in my house so tomorrow I will be starting my 12 days of Christmas countdown and I am wondering where would you start if this was your countdown would you start from 12 and work your way down through day one counting down the 12 days of Christmas or would you start at one and work your way through until you get to the number 12? We always have this debate with our advent calendars of where we start. So when we start our advent calendar, we start at day one and work through 24, but this is the 12 days of Christmas, where would you start? Day one or day 12? What are you doing? 